Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Toonfish uh, VST. It's a free VST and I've got a link to it uh, below the video. Um, this is what it looks like. It's nice and simple and straightforward. It's got a really clean UI. It comes with a few presets and all of these empty slots. I'll just pick one here and we can play around with it. Um, the master settings are up here at the top. Um, we've got a master volume and the polyphony settings, so that allows you to play multiple notes at once. We've got uh, frequency that you can use to set uh, master frequency, um, detune settings for multiple voices, and the slop setting seems to give it some uh, variation, and a glide um, setting that allows you to glide between notes. Uh, the oscillator is right here. There's a single oscillator and it's controlled by these dials um, and you can see what's happening down here. These are the harmonics and this is your waveform. Uh, you've got the ability to set um, different octaves and add multiple voices to your sound. Um, harmonics allows you to add harmonics uh, and that is <coughs> uh, adds some interest to your sounds I guess and allows you to create uh, different you know saw waves and square waves. Um, the scale, modulation, drive, these all affect uh, the harmonics as you can see. Uh, the drive is uh, like it gives it a gain um, increase and the damper works against the drive and the bandwidth uh, gives you wider harmonic frequencies. Um, I've got the oscillator open over here and the EQ just so we can see uh, how these waves come out. Um, I'm just going to pick a simple sound, simple voices, and we can listen. So here's, you know, with nothing, pretty basic. Um, so if we add some harmonics, you can see those. And we can increase our drive, get a little bit more amplitude out of that. And it does clip right around here. Um, if you want a simple square wave. Um, to get a saw wave, maybe we can add some harmonics, some bandwidth. Okay, the spread effects uh, how the voices work together. So we won't worry about that. And we can turn the damp down. So we've got a simple saw wave here. Um, yeah, that's the oscillator. Uh, pretty straightforward. There's noise control as well, if you want uh, to add noise to your sound. I really like the way they laid this out. Um, the noise bandwidth allows you to have less noise around a base frequency. The LFOs, there's two of them right here, uh, and there's two envelopes, and there are filters. So these you're going to want to apply against uh, whatever you set up here in the oscillator. And to apply LFOs or envelopes, you're going to use the mod matrix, which is over on the right, and you can add up to eight of these. Uh, so let's set one up. I will add an envelope, pretty standard setting. I'll add an envelope to the volume. So this allows me to control uh, the volume of the note and how it plays. So you can hear the attack. We've got the attack here, the decay, uh, the sustain and the release. So the speed at which the note, the sound appears is controlled by the attack and the decay uh, controls uh, how it degrades down to the sustain basically and the release is after you release the note uh, the how the sound fades out and this setting I believe affects the release and it works a lot like this this slop setting here uh, but I don't use it a lot um, so that's yeah, that's how the envelopes work and the LFOs, same idea. Uh, so I can add an oscillator uh, using any of these patterns. I've got 
basic sine wave um, and these soft forms, this square form and this noise. Uh, so we can add that to any of these dials basically and I'll pick maybe I don't know, harmonics. So you can see you can see the LFO is affecting the harmonics and if I'm not sure if you can see this but there's a there's a line and it shows how it's moving up and down according to the oscillation rate. So maybe we'll turn that down a bit. And the depth controls how much of this is affected by the oscillator. Uh, a neat feature with the mod matrix is that you can apply um, mods to existing mods. So I can pick from this mod list and have this ADSR envelope um, apply to the, the first one. So that's kind of neat. Uh, over here we have effects and the effects are all in this stack and applied in this order. So if you want to add say distortion to your sound, you'd pick a, an effect out of here and you can control the distortion amount uh, using this dial. Uh, we can add reverb or uh, delay, get some echo. Uh, like that. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I really like this synthesizer. I've created a few sounds with it and I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them uh, to the video. Thanks very much.